One of the earliest types of firewalls we used on our networks were stateless firewalls. These were effectively nothing more than packet filters. We would configure our firewall with what specific data we allowed out, and then we would configure it with what specific data we allowed in. Now, the data going out and the data going in had no relationship to each other. We were simply opening ports up in our firewall, maybe allowing or restricting access based on an IP address. And there was really no idea of flows that were passing through the firewall. You might set up a rule that said, permit some incoming traffic with a source port of TCP 80. And so all traffic that was TCP 80, whether it was part of an existing flow, an existing session, or otherwise, would simply pass right through the firewall. We might have another rule in our firewall that says permit outgoing traffic with the destination of TCP port 80. And then all traffic would pass through the firewall as long as the TCP port as part of the packet had port 80 associated with it. Now, obviously, you can tell here that this is going to allow traffic just to flow regardless of whether it's part of a session, regardless of whether there was an initial request made to receive traffic on that particular port number. It was simply filtering out traffic at a very, very basic level. Once this problem really manifested itself and became a big issue, we created a new type of technology called a stateful firewall. With stateful inspection, your firewall understands all of the flows that are occurring on your network, and it only allows traffic to flow between those devices. You don't need a lot of different rules. You don't have to filter out anything. You might simply have a rule that clients can surf the web on port 80. So you'll allow that outbound traffic to the web server. And as soon as that traffic goes out, the firewall knows the client is talking to this web server, and it's over these port numbers. If there's incoming traffic, it has to come from that device, and it has to have the right sequence numbers to be able to pass through the firewall. If there's somebody else on the network that thinks they can sneak through the firewall with those same port numbers, it's not going to work because the firewall knows the sequence numbers and it knows the flows. It understands the state. And that made our firewalls much more powerful. We didn't need a lot of filters. We didn't have to put in a lot of rules. We simply allow the clients to build the state, and the firewall takes it from there. Stateful technology now has been around for a long period of time. And if you run into a firewall, you can bet that it's going to understand the state of your flows and be able to use those as a security in your organization.